Hello everybody, how you doing? I'm HexDSL. Um, I recently made a blog post, it was this blog post here, um, where I talked about how I'm gonna do things differently in 2024, and I'm gonna try and escape subscriptions for productivity applications. Not streaming services like music and movies and TV, but specifically um, things like uh, things like uh, to-do list applications, stuff like that. So I made this, wrote this blog article, and I'm just doing some videos now to sort of talk about what I was talking about in this article, if that makes, I hope that makes sense. It should make sense. Talk about what I talked about in the article, okay. Um, Good links is the first step in the journey. Um, one of the things, well, the first thing I want to replace was um, Todoist, which I replaced with Things 3 very successfully. I'm actually a little bit happier with Things 3 than I was with Todoist, which I didn't expect. Um, but the next thing on my list was Readwise. Now, I love Readwise as a service. It's an RSS reader. Uh, it's a read it later service, and it allows a lot of highlighting and manipulation of text, um, as well as saving as PDFs and stuff. It's a really good service, but also, and I've got nothing bad to say about it, except I, I don't want to pay monthly for it at all. I want to just pay once, and that's it, and done. Um, so I had looking around and I split my problems through my RSS reader and my Read It Later service. So today we're talking about the Read It Later service. I'll make another video about my RSS reader. Um, so good links, save, read anywhere. This is a one-time application. You pay once, you're done. I think it's about five or six pound. I can't remember exactly. Wasn't a load of money. And I pay once and the application works on desktop, works on iPad, works on phone. It's great. Um, it, these universal applications are brilliant. Um, so... It's had all these. I looked at the tutorial. I looked at the little page. And I thought, hey, that's a lot of good stuff. That's the sort of. That's exactly what I want. It's got a dark mode. It's customizable swipes. It's pay once. It's really good. It, it runs all these Apple scripts and it's got iCloud sync. Everything I want there. Great. So I went ahead and bought it, and it looks like this. So uh, let's have a little tour here. Now remember, it syncs using Apple iCloud. So if you've got no iCloud space, you're gonna have a problem. Now I don't perceive someone storing articles is gonna massively impact their iCloud, but if you're right at the cusp of your iCloud storage anyway, this might be something worth remembering for you, all right? Remember that. Um, you can purge it easy enough as well as a purge button, but there's no real backup because iCloud's pretty reliable. Um, this is an article about an ancient skull found in China, and it's unlikely any human has seen it before, which is cool. Uh, and the article here has been saved in Markdown, and it's also saved the links as they are, and if I click them, it'll load my web browser, and it saved the main pictures in the website, it saved the header image, the main picture in the website, and it seems to have dumped all the advertising, which is well, ideal, really, isn't it? Uh, I've also, you'll see here, there's some tags here. See these little buttons here? These are tags. And I've tagged them when I saved the page because that's my workflow. I tag at the time of saving. I alter the tags after I read the article and mark it as red when I'm done. Now, how to mark it as red? Uh, this button up here marks it as red. It's gone gray. If I refresh my unread, it's going to go. Um, although I haven't read all the article yet, so I don't want to do that. Uh, I can star it. So even if I've read it, I can go back to it later if I think it's something I'm going to want to keep going back to. Um, at the moment, I've got one starred because I'm currently reading about the uh, the Johnny Decimal system, which is something I'm going to be implementing in my own notes and files in the near future. Maybe there'll be a video on that. Who knows? Um, so that's been tagged because it's something I want to keep going back to at the moment. Okay. Uh, so what else have we got in here? Okay, we've got uh, we've got red, starred, font size, the share button, which just uses the actual share sheet, the universal share sheet, which is great. I can hold down the um, command key. And I can push the right key in order to pop up in a web browser. Great, no problem, good stuff. I can use command and down and up. Oh, I thought I could. I can use command and down and up to scroll up and down the page. Um, I can, I can, yeah, I, I can highlight text and just copy and paste it to wherever because it's just raw markdown text now, which is really nice. I can right click here and edit. And that will let me change the change of the tags. Now tags are space, they're delineated by space. No comma nearly, just space, which really weirdly annoyed me. I was like, I'm so used to comma, comma, tag, comma, tag, comma, tag. It just felt weird, but yeah, you don't need it. Just spaces, it's fine. I can mark it as red or mark it from start from here. I can change the summary and the title if I want to. The original web page is not editable because that's the point of it. If this website was to go down, this is local on my iCloud, so kind of pseudo locally stored. It's synced local, yeah, anyway. Um, so if the website goes down, I've still got this version. If the website's updated, it's still done. That it's gone as well. Um, I did. You can re-download article as well if you think it's been updated and you want to read the updates. Now, I did look at some other stuff. I did look at Anybox, which is really good as well. Anybox is really good as well. Um, but Anybox's lifetime subscription is like £35 a year. And I, I don't really see it <laughs> being any different to this, really, um, which was a bit weird. So I might still look at it. Anybox is good. I might still look at Anybox um, 
because I think it might have a few more features and things. But um, any box is really good. But yeah, this is the one I'm currently using. It's really good. Um, so, uh, you got, oh, you got this button here. If you, don't, if you just want to read the article and don't want the sidebars, you get that there. Um, you've got all your tags down the left. The search is tag-based search, right? So it's going to find the title of the tag. It's not going to search the contents of the article, or at least it doesn't seem to search the contents of the article reliably. Um, so you need to make sure your tags are good, um, which is like here, this one here, I've not tagged at all, which is which because I did it from my phone. Um, so I might want to edit this now, and I just want to change the tags there. And it's going to go plans versus zombies, um, which is a game, uh, which is a game, which is a casual game, uh, and it is uh, yeah, that's probably 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 all I need really. Probably all I need. I'll probably do it because it's a game. That's going to narrow it down a lot, right? And I've put the name of the game in the tag because PVZ is like on a platform, it right at this point. I love the original PVC. All the other ones is rubbish, but I love the original. Anyway, um, so, okay, cool, we've got that now. How do we tag things? Uh, how do we do things? We, we install it, and when we install it, it brings up an extension in Safari, which is fine, a little extension, which is nice. Um, and when I press the extension, boop. Okay, oh, that, actually, this is probably not good, because this one, I've already I've already got this one stored. Damn it, I've already got this one stored. Uh, what on my own website? Have I, done, have I done this page? No, no, I haven't. So there's the URL there, which we don't even know. Tags uh, separated, optional comma separated by spaces. Yeah, optional comma, which is, yeah, don't need to do that. So that would be hexdsr, which is my name. I would put a space there. And it would also uh, be article. And it would also be about subscriptions. Uh, again, you don't have to tag now. It's just the way I like to do it. And that and I don't use loads of tags. So it's hexdsr article subscription. I'm going to find it with one of those tags, right? Um, title, hexdsr uh, title is going to be do things a little differently, but that's the title I've used. Um, the summary is just going to be whatever summary is the website. I don't use that, so it's fine. I'm going to add that now, and you'll see basically instantly it'll turn up in here. There you go. It'll turn up in there. Ooh, that, 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 went, that went bad. I clicked too many times. Uh, as you can see, the article there has been grabbed in Markdown. It's grabbed the article there as well. It's all, it's all downloaded, and we can just grab it, and we can read it here. And because my website's very clean, because it's an Obsidian website, it's had no problem grabbing all the text there very, very easily. Which is really good, I think. You can grab the header, which is nice. Which I made in Canva. I love Canva. Um, yes, yeah, so that's something else. I'd love to replace Canva with a local source that was just as easy, but I don't think that's happening. If you know of a local Canva, which is a one-time payment or open source, let me know. That'd be great. Uh, and I've read that now. It's a great article. I've read that. I'm going to click the button now. And I'm going to refresh that. I'm going to refresh that by going to start and back again. It's gone. That's it. I think this is really, really good. And I have a lot of incoming documents. That's something I really like. I really soak up documents and stuff. This has been brilliant. I'm very, very, very happy with this. It's been great. Um, as I said, any box is, is vibing for my attention as well. But I've got a $34 permanent subscription to that. And I'm not even looking at yearly subscriptions anymore. If I, my new rule is going forward. Um, the certain things I'm already using, which is subscription based, I'm looking for replacements for. Um, but anything going forward, if I can't get a lifetime subscription, I'm just going to find alternatives. And this is good. This is good. It's on my phone. It's on my tablet. It's everywhere. It's really good. Um, so it's called, uh, as I said, it's called uh, it's called Good Links. It's pretty cheap. It seems to have lots of advanced features. And let's before we go, let's just look at the options as well. We've got here. So um, we've got the options menu. You can see here. We've got uh, accent color. We can change the accent color. We can change the app badge icon, which is oh, which is weird. Uh, it tells the little diamond that tells you how many unread things you've got. I think that is um, lists. Yeah, all the usual stuff you would show favicon, show preview images, advanced is reset sync state, reset iCloud data. If you reset the sync state, it will re-download from iCloud. If you reset the iCloud data, it'll just blank your account. Uh, which is, yeah, that's my only caveat with this. There's not a lot of control over synchronization. I like the fact that this application, if it were, if the menu, if the, if the maker of this application was to not update it again, there's no reason to expect it wouldn't work for years to come because it's pretty straightforward. Um, also, yeah, so what, there's no reason to break. Also, there's no service to rely on. There's no back-end service to rely on, which I like. But also, there's not a lot of nuance in saving. There's no export options. There's, you know... I think I'll probably save somewhere else. I'm, yeah, I'm probably there's probably a way to just highlight. I probably just highlight this text and save it somewhere else. But I don't know. There's not a lot of nuance there, which is the only downside I can find. Um, but yeah, this is my current Read It Later service. I really like it. Thanks for watching. I've been HexDSL. Goodbye, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That'd be lovely. Um, also, if you enjoy this content and this kind of video, um, please do um, jump on over to the Discord. 
um, which is discord.hexdsl.com. Or if you'd like to support me, you can do so on Patreon, uh, uh, patreon.com slash hexdsl, or you can buy me a gift on wishlist.hexdsl.com. Thank you very much for hanging out with me.